I'm Fox 55 Severe Weather Center Meteorologist Alita Donnelly. We're going to see showers and storms making their way through the area as we move through your Sunday night. So we are expecting to see some of that heavy rain impacting the area. We also may be seeing some damaging wind gusts in addition to that. Now as we by the time we get to about Monday morning around sunrise, we're going to be seeing some drier conditions for part of the morning. But we're also going to be seeing the rain returning to the area as we make our way into the latter half of the morning and into the early afternoon hours. But that's where we're really expecting to see those showers hours wrapping up. But we will be seeing partly cloudy skies as we make our way through your Monday afternoon. Winds will be somewhat breezy though on Monday as we'll be seeing gusts up to about 25 miles an hour coming out of the northwest. So it's going to be somewhat different from what we end up seeing on Sunday where it was very hot and humid for your Father's Day. And then we're also going to be seeing some drier conditions returning by the time we get to your Monday night. And with that, we're also going to see much more comfortable air building into the area as we'll see those temperatures falling into the 50s. So again, Sunday night into Monday, 70 or low temperature. We're expecting to see those scattered thunderstorms across the area. The severe weather threat through the most part is going to be over by the time we get to about 1 a.m., but expect to see some of those strong to severe storms prior to that as we do move through the overnight hours. And we are expecting to see another wave of rain by the time we get to the bus stop and even the early morning hours on Monday. So 25 will be those gusts as we make our way through the day on Monday. Otherwise, very breezy through most of the day, but that's all funneling in that cooler, more comfortable air as we do make our way through the start of the upcoming work week. Now we'll see a high temperature of 77 degrees. I think that's going to happen close to midnight and for the most part during the day we'll see those temperatures fluctuating within the 70s but otherwise fairly steady through the day as we will be seeing those showers wrapping up as we make our way through the early afternoon and then we will be seeing much drier conditions for the second half of the day. But as we are expecting to see those strong to severe storms tonight, make sure to download our Fox 55 Severe Weather Center app on the App Store or the Google Play Store to have the storm alerts notify you of the strong to severe storms heading towards your location, but you could also have our latest forecast in your pocket.